Welcome to this new video of the Jakarta EE Quick Start Guides. In this video I will continue to demonstrate how you can use uh, MicroShare testing for your black box or integration tests. In this section I will cover the use case where our application is actually calling a third service during uh, its execution and needs this third service to be up and running for writing proper integration tests. So we will later on use a mock server during our integration tests to, to mock the behavior of this third party service. So the application is uh, where we left it in the first video. What I've just added is a, a new JuxRS resource, uh, a quotes resource, where we will use a micro profile rest client to fetch a, to fetch a, a random quote. So this is coming from this um, API in the internet and by default it returns a, a random quote which we will then use in this example to return just the sentence of the random quote. To show you how it works I will quickly launch the application. So it's already running, ah here it's running, let's quit it here. So for this I will use the Liberty Maven plugin will start open liberty server in development mode and once it's up and running we can actually curl for this and this will now return a, a simple string which uh, includes this random quote from this uh, remote api so now let's switch to the tests or maybe first start to write a test create a new test and also call it IT. So the first thing we can now do as we have our sample resource IT from the first video, we somehow now want to share this container setup for our application. So we don't want to repeat it over and over. And for this, we can create a so-called um, shared container configuration. So for this, just create a new class and maybe let's just call it sample application config and this will implement the shared container configuration interface coming from microshed testing and within here we can now probably uh, properly create our container setup like we need it so now just define here the container configuration we did in the integration tests and within our integration tests we can now use an annotation to actually tell the test um, which container configuration we want to use and therefore we can use this shared container config and this will now use our application configuration here so later on you will see we'll add a further container for the smog server but with this we have it at one central place and don't have to repeat it for, for each integration test um, over and over. To make sure it's now running properly, let's execute our initial test here. So this should now be green as we just changed the infrastructure setup. And now to use this mock server, I've already included two new dependencies. So one is the mock server dependency from test container. So this will then later on uh, launch the mock server container for us. And then to connect to it, uh, I've also included the mock server client Java library. So we will then control uh, which responses are returned when different endpoints are requested within our application. So let's start here with our second container. So besides our main application, we now need a container for this mock server. Therefore, just define it like we did. And here we can use now test containers, which provides this mock server container for us. And what we will do is just instantiate it. And one thing we will do is like we will create a network alias. Um, so then 
the two container can later on communicate over this this host name and our application is able to reach it so microshare testing now comes with a, a easy to use um, configuration uh, overriding mechanism for our rest clients so we can now here specify um, our rest client which we are which we use and can now override um, the, the host url so within our integration test we actually don't want to go to this remote endpoint so um, this might be on another service of, of your um, landscape and you may not want to actually call this service during your integration test you would rather try to mock it and for this we have to override this url so we will actually call our mock server and don't go against this uh, production endpoint here so for this um, just specify the host name and as we now specified here the network alias we can now use here mock server and for the port we can exhibit in a static way here so we specify the host name colon port so that's everything we need here to override our um, base url for the, the rest client now we can actually write or start writing our integration test here so maybe let's first make this public and write a test let's call it um, should return random quote this is a point here so now what what we actually want to do so first let's add microshare test here and also this shared container config so we will run exactly with the same contact uh, configuration like our other test and we can also inject already our JAXRS class and what we want to do now is like get this random quote and verify it So if we now would execute it, um, um, it wouldn't work as we did not mock the behavior as within the integration test, we are now hitting this mock server. So we have to actually specify the behavior, behavior we want and to not break our application, we have to um, return a JSON from this endpoint which has the same schema and structure like the, the production endpoint. So we can actually um, prepare this. So here is now a, a modeled the exact same structure. I left out the things we do, which we don't need here. So I create now a, a JSON object with has this um, quote here. So to not specify the actual behavior of this mock server, we have to use this mock server Java client, which we already pulled in for our project. So for this, we can create a mock server client instance. And the first thing we have to do is like um, give this instance the coordinates of our mock server. So here we can say first the IP address and then also the port. Once this is set up, we can use a when. So it's a little bit similar to Mokito. So we now specify whenever a special endpoint is called what it should return actually. So here we can say a, a request and we will use this quad endpoint. So this is the endpoint our um, micro profile rest client is calling and then we can say um, how we want to respond so we will respond with a response with a body containing our quote we prepared here stringify it and we can also specify the media type um, make sure this media type is coming from from this com google package structure so this is what this is, is expecting. So this is enough for the setup now. What we can now do first, maybe let's make an assertion that this is not now. A random quote, and then maybe also print it. So we can do, could do some further assertions here uh, to actually verify what's going on. But I think this is enough for now. And then let's execute it. So within the logs you might see there's no 
this mock server started. Uh, this now failed as I did not properly inject it here or quotes resource. So we have, it has to be public and static. So once we changed here, this injection of this quote resource, we can uh, actually rerun it. And now it should um, be green and should print out this quotes uh, quote we put in here. So the test is now passing. And now you see here this long random quote I put in, in this prepare JSON object, which is returned by this mock server. So with this setup, you can now actually mock the response of uh, third party services your application is calling and can quite easily manage how they respond and which uh, response codes the response has or can uh, dynamically set um, the content like you needed to test your actual um, business logic. See you in the next video where I will cover the uh, database setup for testing your application with MicroShed testing.